What is going on everybody? Got another video here for you. We want to prove that this thing right here, this thing right here is divisible by three. Now how in the world are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use mathematical induction. All right. And we're going to prove it for all positive integers in. So we want to start out with the base case n equals 1. So we need to plug 1 in for n. So that's going to be 1 cubed plus 3 times 1 squared plus 2 times 1. And that is 1 plus 3 plus 2, which is 6. And 6 is divisible by 3. All right. All right. And then we're going to assume it's true for n equals k. So in other words, that's going to be k cubed plus 3k squared plus 2k is equal to what? 3m, where m is an integer. Okay. So if you have some integer, whatever the integer is, okay, it's whatever that integer is, it's multiplied by three, so it's going to be divisible by three. Okay, and, and, and this is how we would write it, that this is equal to some multiple of three. Okay. All right, now for n equal k plus one, we have to prove that it's divisible by three. So basically what we're doing here is we're gonna take the k plus one, let's write this. We must prove divisible by three for n equal k plus 1. All right. So we're going to replace all these n's with k plus 1. So I've got k plus 1 cubed plus 3 times k plus 1 squared plus 2 times k plus 1. All right. So what we need to do now is we need to multiply all this out. So I'm going to come down here because I'm going to erase it after I do it, after I write out what it equals. So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the k plus 1 cubed. That's equal to k plus 1 times k plus 1 times k plus 1. So that's going to be k plus 1 times, and I'm going to multiply these. You can multiply these two first and then that one. It doesn't matter. I'm going to multiply these two first. So that's going to be k squared plus 2k plus 1. Just full method. First outside, inside, last. You should know how to do that. And then k times k squared is k cubed. k times 2k is 2k squared. And then k times 1 is k. And then we got 1 times k squared is k squared. 1 times 2k is 2k. And 1 times 1 is 1. And so that's equal to k cubed plus 3k squared plus 3k plus 1. So that's what the k plus 1 cubed is. So we're going to write that this is equal to k cubed plus 3k squared plus 3k plus 1. Okay, that's that first term right there, the k plus 1 cubed. I showed you the work there. And then we've got this one. So we got three times K plus one squared is three times K plus one times K plus one. That's going to be three times K squared plus two K plus one, which is three K squared plus six K plus three. So that's going to be plus 
3k squared plus 6k plus 3. All right, that's that term. And then here we just distribute the 2, so plus 2k plus 2. And then we're just going to combine all the like terms. So that's going to be k cubed plus, uh, let's see, what is that, 6k squared? Plus, and then we got 3k plus 6k plus 2k is 11k, and then plus 3. So that's what we get when we when we combine all the all the like terms. <clears throat> now I'm gonna come back up here and I'm gonna grab this thing. Okay, and I'm gonna just write it over here to the side. We'll write it uh we'll write it in red, I guess, just so we can see it k cubed plus 3k squared plus 2k equals 2m. I'm going to have to use that. So I'm just writing that down there. <clears throat> All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rewrite this thing right here. So I'm going to write this as k cubed plus 3k squared plus 2k. You see what I did? I wrote this down. Okay. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna just kind of keep that together. And I got the k cubed. I've got three k squared here, so that's gonna be plus three k squared because I need a six k squared. Three k squared plus three k squared is six k squared, and I've got two k. So two k plus what is eleven k? Well, that's plus nine k, and then plus three. Okay. All right. So now. <clears throat> Let's look at this. Do you see this right here? Whoops. I, I actually wrote this right here wrong, didn't I? That's equal to 3m, not 2m. See? 3m, not 2m. Alright. So if we look at this, we assume that this is equal to 3m. So I'm going to replace all of that with 3m. Plus, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor a 3 out there. Well, you know, I don't even really have to do that. Do I? Let's just write this. 3k squared plus 9k plus 3. Now, look at this. What, did I do? what can I do here? I can factor out a 3. And there you have it. Because this in here... See, what's m? m is an integer. And what is k? k is, see we let n equal k. n is a positive integer. So this is an integer here. So you have some kind of integer times 3. That's divisible by 3. All right. And there you have it. It's proven. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see y'all in the next one later.